This is Dan Davies with AbleLink Smart Living Technologies with another four minute tutorial. Today we're going to look at how to create a music button in the Smart Living desktop. So let's get started. I'll launch the desktop here. We'll select Han Solo. I'm going to right click over the desktop and select New Button. This will open the Button Manager display. This particular type is a media button, so I'll click on Media. I'm going to click Select Folder. And what I'm looking for is a folder of songs. That's basically a playlist in the Smart Living Desktop. Now, each user has within their set of folders uh, a My Music folder, where you can put music that is uh, specifically for that one individual. I've already done that, and I have an Eagles folder here. So I will select Eagles. When I do that, it loads up this button with the title uh, of the folder, as well as uh, puts any artwork that's in the folder on the button itself. I'm going to hit Save now, and we'll launch the button. So this launches the Smart Living Music Player, one of the applications that's part of the suite. Let me pause that. The music Player is a uh, separate application. It opens up in its own window. I can move it around on the screen like this. Uh, but as you play this particular playlist of songs, you can advance to the next one by clicking the next button here. And uh, when the folder finishes, it'll just cycle back to the beginning. So this will just continue to play until you decide to stop it. You can also continue the music and do other things on your desktop simply by clicking on the background and now you can go launch to a website or do whatever you want. But you see the music is still playing in the background. You can get back to the music player by clicking on this thumbnail over here on the right that shows any currently playing music. That brings up the music player and now I can stop it or pause it or whatever I want to do. So that's one way to create a music button. I'm going to right click. Let's create another one real quickly. This time I'm going to navigate to a folder of songs within iTunes. So I'll click Media over here, select Folder, and I'll find Music and iTunes Music here. Scroll down and I'm going to select, let's pick the uh, Electric Light Orchestra today. And there's the folder of songs within that folder there. All right, now this one didn't have any artwork, so there's no image that's put on the button other than the default image. But I can click on this image right here and it'll do a search for me for images to put on the button using the title of the button. It's often best to select a wide image for the button, and I'll show you why in just a moment. Let's go find a wide image here. Now there's one, that'll work. So I click on the image. I let it download fully here. You can see it's still downloading. So I want to wait till that's done. And now I drop it over onto the button. I can close that out. And you see the reason you pick a wide image is it allows you to view the whole name of the button like you see here. All right, finally, now let me show you how to put a button on the desktop for a single song. So I'm going to right click, select New Button. And in this case, I'll select Media like I did before, but down here I'm going to click the button that says Show Advanced Options. And I'm going to select Music Player because I want to just pick one single song. I click Select Song and it opens up again under Han Solo's My Music folder. And I have a song there. I'll select Boston. Uh, there's the artwork, there's the title, I hit save, and now I can play it. And here we have a single song playing instead of a whole playlist of songs. So, th so that's how you create music buttons in the Smart Living Desktop. Thanks for listening. If you'd like further information about these programs or have other questions or comments, please contact us at the uh, website or email you see on the screen.